Helen Latouche was a writer and illustrator who was appointed a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit and dedicated her life to her love of New Zealand's nature and history. No Ordinary Sheila is a fascinating documentary about her life and we welcome director Hugh MacDonald and producer Christine Dan to tell us all about it. Welcome guys. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the cafe. Congratulations. Yeah. So lovely to have you here. Uh, let's start first with you Hugh. Sheila was at the New Zealand International Film Festival two months ago, wasn't she, when uh, the film debuted and she got to see it but then she died just a few days later. Yeah, well, we, the, the premiere as such was actually a week before then and we'd hoped to get her into that but it was impossible and we couldn't get the, the oxygen bottle and we came to Auckland for two shows at the ASB Waterfront Theatre, mm -hmm. a magnificent venue. It's great, isn't it? And um, then we went back and she was already, the morning we arrived back, she, the, the, the afternoon screening was going to be at the Paramount and she was already there and people had organised the oxygen bottle so she was there. Lindsay Shelton came on told the audience that um, the auditorium was full, that Sheila was in the audience and they all applauded. So, oh, wow. yeah. nice. And what did she think of the movie? It must have been strange, well, watching yourself on screen. She said, you've done me proud. Oh, oh. nice. And you know, that, that was the thing, Christine, when I watched it, I just thought, what a great gift she had given to New Zealand. And I didn't know much about her, to be honest. So thank you for the gift that you've given back to us, because I just think she was an incredible person. She weathered a lot, didn't she? she all the stuff that was happening in her life, she just, she just put up with it. What made you decide to do a movie about her? Well, um, Hugh said... I did, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he, did. he said, um, you know, my cousin Sheila is just... An amazing woman, and I already knew about her work um, because I'd used her books and research and stuff that I'd been doing, and um, and I had heard legends about her, and um, people said, you know, she's just so incredible, and her house is so incredible, it's full of stuff, mm -hmm. and so we went off there, and Hugh introduced me, and the moment I met her, you know, I mean, she's just so lovable among um, other she? things, mm -hmm. and and tells uh, a good story, and yeah. tells a great story, <laughs> and great sense of humour, and just inspirational really the way that she decides that she wants to do something and she mm. does it. Okay well, let's take a little look shall we at a clip. You write so well with such clarity and such enthusiasm. A lot of people don't. You write as you speak I think. That's a picture. Oh, one, two. Oh, one, two, three, four. You lived as it's described without car, television, alcohol, cigarettes, or shag pile carpet. We had a good life. <laughs> <laughs> they said no, that's it. But do come in and have a cup of tea with us and we'll talk it over. My mum told them to go to hell. How many books now? Sort of between 30 and 40, I think. Good Lord. I see something that interests me. Down it goes. No ordinary Sheila. No ordinary Sheila. Wow. A lot of historical footage there. I mean, where did all that come from, Christine? Most of it's from um, National Film Unit. Um, Archives New Zealand collection. Um, we were dead lucky we, that she was filmed in 1960 swimming with seals out at Red Rocks. Wow, <laughs> so, wow that was good. Um, but the biggest coup was actually from a private archive, which was um, one held by a former colleague of Hughes, um, Grant Foster. And that's the film showing the children on Stewart Island in the 1930s throwing their crust to the gulls, which was a no-no for the parents. <laughs> and Especially in the middle of, uh, of depression. depression, yes. <laughs> and, um, and I had read her account of that in an article she wrote for The Listener about gulls, and I came back and I said to Hugh, oh, wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually find the film of that mm. and blow me down... We go and see Mark and his, uh, sorry, not a Grant and his archive, and there it is. Wow. <laughs> And it was colour in 1934, which is pretty unusual for 16mm. Yeah. And, and Sheila was your cousin, Hugh. Yeah. Were you happy with the way everything came out? Because you're watching it, I thought, geez, there's, there's just so much you could have put in that movie. It must have been hard to colour well, down. You're, you're absolutely right, Mike. We actually took um, a major sequence out, um, and we've had to shorten other areas because we would just, it would run up to 120 minutes, and this film 
needs to be in between 90 and 100, and we just squeezed in under 100. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the right length for it. How would you describe Shedder's life? I mean, what made her so special? Um, well, first of all, she had an amazing ability never to get upset. She did not waste energy on negative ideas or disliking something or hating somebody. It was just a waste of time. And everything else she did, she thoroughly enjoyed. And she focused 100% on conversations, readings, anything that she was interested in, you had her attention 100%. And it was a very positive thing, and it, it, it showed. It kept her happy, and certainly she would mm. never let anything negative blow her over. And people like that are so wonderful to be around too, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, no, and that's why she off. needs yeah. to be celebrated, I think, because yeah. you know, just what she'd done in her life was very special. Did she have much input into the film? Yes, she did, because when I was doing the research, um, you know, I'm, I'm reading her letters and, and other documents, and I'm going back to her and saying, what about this, Sheila, what about that? Um, but she never um, <coughs> tried to direct us, if right. you like. <laughs> uh, she just, we, we set her up with the people that we knew she was comfortable talking to, like old friends of hers who shared her interests, mm -hmm. and, um, and just let them take the conversation where it went. And, um, of course, Kim Hill does a very professional oh, she, oh, job of drawing her out. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we had that main interview to hang the, the rest off. Mm. Um, and so the other people covered up the bits that, that, that he, um, Kim couldn't cover. So, yeah, it, um, and she was actually very happy to go out with us and, and go on the filming things. And, of course, she loved going out filming with the choir. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love <laughs> that, that scene. That, yeah. was, that was great. And um, so we set up a few things for her that, you know, otherwise wouldn't come your way. Oh, um, no, cool. brilliant work. Yeah. Hey, well, thank yeah. you both very yeah, much awesome. for joining us today. Loved it. Hugh and Christine's film, No Ordinary Sheila, is going to be shown in cinemas around the country from Labour Weekend.